The British Film Institute has issued the early films in the James Bond series with trigger warnings. And it's not for 007's golden gun, but because they could cause offence today. And it's not just James Bond that's been shaken, if not a bit stirred, with woke controversy. The new Doctor Who was introduced to us at Christmas, shaking his thing in a fetching muscle top and skirt, whilst Star Wars announced that their next film will be directed by a feminist who says she enjoys making men feel uncomfortable. It does really seem like South Park hit the nail on the head with this recent skit. Put another gay diverse woman in it, make it my f land. No, it's going on with my stars. No, it's happening, kid. Is there a problem, people? We were just discussing uh, ideas of what to do with the new Prince Eric movie. Put a chick in it, make her gay. Maybe we should go a different route than we did with Indiana Jones. F Indiana Jones, put a chick in it and make her lame and gay. <laughs> So, is this really the future of what we'll be watching in 2024? Joining me now to discuss this is the actor James Dreyfus. James, thank you so much for being with me. Ah, uh, Mr. Murray, we meet at last. I we meet at stroke, last. I? Yeah. <laughs> um, tell me, uh, this. I mean, we, we start. Let's start with James Bond. Uh, does it surprise you that James Bond now needs a trigger warning? No, no, it doesn't surprise me in the slightest, to be honest with you. I mean, I've just read their, their statement about it, which is, whilst we have a responsibility to preserve films as close to their contemporaneous accuracy as possible, uh, we also have a responsibility in how we present them to our audiences. Well, no, you don't. Yeah, um, what does that mean? I, well, I don't know what it means. I mean, back in the day, uh, we had U, A, 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 X, all seemed pretty clear. And uh, the Bond movies, um, I seem to remember, were, OK, they're not aimed at children like like uh, Doctor Who is, but uh, the James Bond movies were teenage fair. Um, I, I, I can't even begin to think why any of them have a trigger warning, least of all for John Barry's um, music. You know, one of, one of the uh, things that amazed me about this, James, uh, you, I always sort of think we, we seem to be run by cultural juveniles. Um, if it, I'm just trying to think back on the BFI released movies that I've seen in the past. I remember about mm. 25 years ago, they released all of the great works of directors like Eisenstein, Pier Paolo Pasolini. Pasolini I saw pa yeah. Pier Paolo Pasolini's uh, Sallow. I wouldn't recommend yeah. it to viewers any more than I would recommend some of the things that Eric Weinstein was recommending you look up in relation to Stephen Hawking earlier. But um, uh, Sallow is probably the most disgusting film I've ever seen. And it's based on the Marquis de Sade's 120 Days of Sodom. Now, if they're going to start putting trigger warnings on James Bond, I reckon the 120 Days of Sodom probably needs uh, some some other kind of extreme warning. Well, you, you know something, uh, Douglas? I, I get nervous when I now see films without a trigger warning because I think, <laughs> um, oh, my God, you know, what what's in this? I mean, I was watching a film this morning. I, I love watching horror films. I'll give you an example. And there was a warning at the start of this movie which was given by the, um, uh, uh, the directors, actually, saying, we're, we're warning you that sudden shots in this film will contain something that'll upset you in the name of humanity. And then it, I thought, OK, well, I'll steal myself a little bit. And, uh, and the first image I saw was a baby seal being clubbed to death in real life. And so I immediately turned it off and I thought, oh, my God, and it's disturbed me all day. That I can understand. Epilepsy warnings, I can understand. Mm. Um, but when you're talking about things like James Bond or even cartoons, I mean, if you mm. really want to uh, uh, go back, put 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 a disclaimer in front of Bambi. Watership <laughs> down. That's the most. Those are yes. the most disturbing movies I've ever seen. I don't understand it, but it gives me a clue here when they say we listen to customer feedback mm. and also continue to work closely with blah blah blah. Now that tells me that they're listening to all the people that complain. Hmm. Not the people that Not are the people people who had a good time. They'll never call them up and say, yeah, 